<laughs> it's me, hey guys, it's me, James. And today, I'm gonna be reviewing Godzilla vs. Kong. Because the movie just came out in theaters last week and on HBO Max. And I think that gave enough time for people to watch the movie. And so if you didn't watch the movie yet, what the heck? Go watch it, because it's awesome. It has more monster action le and more less boring. And, like, it's awesome, man. Like, the visuals are awesome, especially in Hong Kong. But, <clears throat> so, let's do, let's take a review. So, it's basically starts off with, like, Kong, and he's, like, in a dome, like, what? like how it was see shown in some of the trailers and like um what was the other part um oh yeah the humans uh like the hu the humans in the story was like less like it did oh sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> um the humans were like more less interesting because like for the past monster voice movies the humans were more like like more kept like more into like how do we put this together now um like this the, like the characters had more <clears throat> more character arts like in like in 2014 Kong Skull Island didn't really had one but I don't know but and and Godzilla King of the Monsters but now in this film like not they like the director Adam Wingard focused more on the monsters instead of the humans, which I like, but it could have been better. Like you could have still had the mon more monster action, while still having the human characters having their own stories, just like the monsters. Even though I, I even though we're not here, but like the mo the humans, you should still add some characters so then you can give some character arts, especially for, like, one of the characters, like, um, when Sarah is out, because, like, it, when Sarah is out, you know the we, they, everyone knows the reason why he's building Mechagodzilla, he's making Mechagodzilla, because, because, like, hmm, oh, yeah, I forgot, because, because, for revenge, for Godzilla, for, like, needing, like, Sarah's out for his father's death, from King of the Monsters, so, like, he's dead in Revenge on Godzilla, and, like, yeah, they, everyone knows it, but, like, they don't mention it, even though everyone literally, know, everyone, even if everyone knows, they should still, they should still tell that, so then they can, so then everyone knows, and they wouldn't have to theorize, but I like you, like, <laughs> and, but, like, this movie was good, like, Godzilla's action was good, I like Godzilla blowing up the facilities, trying, like, it was awesome, okay, Kong had his awesome moments, I like the war bats, I like Kong's act, like, I like Godzilla, Godzilla's a tiger breath, I like everything, I like everything about this film, except one thing, except for Beans. So I give this mo I give this movie a nine out of ten because number one, the skull crawlers. The skull crawlers like they were leaked in the toys from Playmates last year, and it showed like it showed the skull crawler the skull crawlers having a red stripe on their back, like on the back and like they I thought they were gonna have a big role in like the next movie even though it wasn't like there was no post credit scene there wasn't supposed to be a post credit scene like I would have loved like seeing the wed skull callers come out at the end of the film and then like set up the next movie because this movie what should have been like you know like like successful because this is the, it takes two characters from, fa two famous characters from monster history in movie history and then put them in the same exact movie and ask who is the real king of the monsters. So 
I really think that they could have done better, but that doesn't mean I still I don't like the movie. They like showed the Red Skull Callers, um, what to just to get killed by Mechagodzilla, but then after, but like they don't explain like how does it have a red stripe on its back or how is it that big just to get to the size of like Godzilla or cut on. So I really think they they should have um mentioned that. Number two, um Mechagodzilla's design looks terrifying. And I don't mean like I it looks terrifying. I mean terrifying in it I know I mean terrifying in like it's it haunts my dreams. Like I like the Mechagodzilla design, but I wish they could have went for more, a for a more ready, a more ready player one design, because that because that ready player one design from two thousand eighteen looked like similar to the legendary Godzilla, and it just looked it still looked like Godzilla, just a robot. It so could have been like that. Number three. Godzilla's armor. It for some unknown reason, Playmates like leaked one of the toys Godzilla ha of Godzilla having red armor on its on his back, and I thought that was gonna play a role of like Godzilla having red armor to help him defeat defeat Mecha Godzilla, and like I completely forgot about that when watching the film until I remembered all those things that what I um watched on YouTube. So and number four, the last exact thing I don't like about this film. <gasps> no Godzilla no not that much Godzilla scenes. Why? Why <laughs> Sorry. Um <laughs> anyways um, this part I don't really like because I know, con like, I know, like, Godzilla, like, I thought this movie was about Kong and Godzilla's story, and it focused more on Kong's story than Godzilla's. It's like the creators don't have, like, I in the past movies that Godzilla was in, in the Monster Wars, like, in the two films, 2014 and King of the Monsters, they showed him emotion. Emotion. How real is that emotion? Like, where is that? Like, he, I know he, this movie is where Godzilla is more of a villain type, but come on, show some emotion. He's just killing people because, because he's angry because Apex is making Mecha Godzilla. So, I think... That's the last thing I don't like. So yeah. But overall, even though they don't have they don't explain or show or see either of those four things I just mentioned, I still love the film. This film was awesome, phenomenal, and just less boring than the three other films. So yeah, I think this film did awesome and I can't wait to see what will happen next in the entry of the monster boss so hopefully you guys like the video make sure to subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends make sure you share it with your friends because my videos are good <laughs> and so yep that's the end of the video hope you like this review and i'll see you next time bye and godzilla 65 2019 movie will come out in summer make sure to watch it that's gonna be awesome okay bye